Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Tirzata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a blueberry strudel that's going to be wrapped in phyllo and then it's going to be topped with a vanilla yogurt sauce. Simple to make, yet so delicious. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by making the blueberry filling. I'm using frozen blueberries, but fresh work just as well. We're starting off with one and a half pounds, which is 680 grams of frozen blueberries. I'll add half of them to a saucepan with three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, five tablespoons or 60 grams of cornstarch, two tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed is always best, a tablespoon of unsalted butter, and this is gonna heat over medium heat until everything melts and thickens. This is gonna happen pretty quickly. And you could mash up some of the berries while you're doing this so that we could create a nice thick sauce. Once everything is nice and thick just like this, you're gonna turn the heat off and add the remaining blueberries in and just mix everything up and set it aside. Now it's time to assemble it. So we're gonna be using number four phyllo. I thawed this out overnight in the fridge and then left it at room temperature for a couple of hours just so that way it's easy to work with. We're not using the whole thing, only about 14 sheets of this. The rest will pack up and use it for another time. So I'm gonna take one sheet at a time, drizzle some butter. I have half a pound of butter, which might be a little bit too much, but I can save the rest for later if I have any leftovers. Each sheet is gonna get drizzled with the butter and also I'll sprinkle a tablespoon of sugar on top of the butter. So we're gonna layer six sheets on top of each other with the butter and sugar in between each layer, leaving the top layer without any butter. And then that is where we're gonna add half of the blueberry filling on top of that, right in the center. And I'm gonna make sure that there's butter all around the edges of the phyllo so that way it sticks together and seals properly. You can roll it up at this point, make sure you press down the edges so that way they stick together. And while you're assembling this, make sure that you get lots of sugar on the edges of the phyllo so that way there's flavor in that. The blueberry filling might not reach the edges and you don't wanna waste them. So roll that up and transfer it to a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. We're making two strudels. You could bake both of them or freeze one. I'll be baking both today because they're just so good. We're gonna do the same thing with the second batch of phyllo and filling, and then we'll brush the tops with lots of butter, sprinkle a little bit more sugar on top. I also tuck the edges of the phyllo in just so that way it bakes evenly. I'm just gonna poke in some slits just on top so that way it has some room to breathe in there while it's baking. This is gonna go in the oven and it'll bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes or until it's crispy and golden all around. The leftover phyllo I'll wrap in some plastic wrap and it'll keep fresh in the refrigerator for almost a week. You wanna use it up before that. And it's great if you want to make a portocalopita, which is an orange pie or a lemon pie, or you could use it in so many other recipes. We'll wait until this cools down and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, so I baked both of my strudels, but you can definitely freeze one. And then once it's frozen solid, wrap it tightly in either plastic wrap or you could do parchment paper and aluminum foil just to keep it from absorbing freezer odors. And then you can just bake it frozen whenever you need it. It's just gonna take a couple more minutes to bake if it's straight out of the freezer frozen. You don't have to thaw this overnight or even thaw it at all. It just bakes straight, straight away just like we baked the fresh one. You will notice that even though I made some slits on top of my strudel, some of those blueberries did make it out of the, of the pastry, but that's totally fine. When you're making a homemade dessert, it's not gonna be perfect like it came out of the factory and it shouldn't be. I just squish them back in and anywhere I find an opening, I just, I'll just push that filling back in and it's perfectly fine. I slice it up before I serve it anyway so you don't even know that that happened and it doesn't really matter that that happened anyway. Nothing goes to waste. While the strudel was cooling, I just whipped up a little yogurt sauce to serve along with this. Just a little bit of Greek yogurt with some powdered sugar. You can sweeten this to your liking so you can taste as you go. You could add some lemon zest or orange zest to it, some vanilla extract, whisk it all up and give it a taste and see if it's sweet enough for you. I love it because it's slightly tangy and it goes so well with the sweet blueberry filling. Even the phyllo with that sugar in between each layer, the sugar caramelizes and it's nice and sweet and crispy. So it's just perfect. Time for the taste test. Oh my goodness. So good. The tangy yogurt goes so well with that creamy blueberry filling. So that crispy phyllo that has that sugar, that caramelized sugar in between the layers is just divine. For me, the filling is perfect. For some people, it might not be sweet enough, so you can add a little bit more sugar to it if you prefer. 
I will definitely leave it up to you. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. You can print it out on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This is perfect for the summertime. And of course, if you want to switch up the filling and use different kinds of berries, they all work. You could do a combination of strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and just let me know how you're making it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.